Wow, look at this wonderful looking tree here, man. Wow, what a gorgeous tree. Uh, yeah, this tree seems to have a generator running into it. Yeah, welcome to the future, folks. It's getting really weird. These are all things that just people should just snap out of it, and they don't. Well, next up is your 5G towers. You know why? Because this is going to be comical. You know why it's going to be comical? Comical because it is so blatantly obvious what they're doing that you can't help but even laugh at the stupidity of the zombie nation. And how they're pretty much going to go, hey, there's a chance you might get a brain tumor from this. There's a chance you might, your whole body might be affected. I mean, pretty much kill you down, burn your skin, cause you to go blind, cause your immune system to break down just so you can have quicker upload time so you can make sure when you paint your toenails you can put it on Facebook at a faster pace. Welcome to 2018. They get away with all of it. They're getting away with murdering us in plain sight because everybody out there allows it to happen. I wanted to talk about 5G because driving through the country, they're putting it up. 5G is going up. In 2016, there was a professor on TED Talks who was also an engineer who was explaining in 2016 how bad Wi-Fi is for people, how bad it's going to mess people up, how many people have killed themselves because of their sensitivities to Wi-Fi. The people that are sensitive the people that are targeted, the people that can feel Wi-Fi, the people that have bad effects to it, they were the test mice. And the powers that be are gonna keep on pushing forward anyways. Everyone's gonna be feeling this, you know what I'm saying? You realize that when 5G is up, which, I mean, it's already begun. They've already started putting the towers up. They can detect if you have a concealed carry on you from a drone, from a 5G receiver, transponder, whatever they call them. There won't be any hiding anything whatsoever at all. People want to stand up against the government? I told you a long time ago. It's a fun thing to try to do. Stand up, but if they zap you, how are you going to use your gun? You're not going to know how. This technology has the ability to drop you and you won't even see it or hear it. Here's what I consider, in my personal opinion, another crime scene. And I don't think I'm being dramatic saying this. Here's the cell phone tower. I want you to notice where this is located. Literally, in the parking lot, right next to these stores. There's human beings working in these stores and eating in these restaurants all day long and there's a cell phone tower right there that's hitting a thousand microwatts per square meter depending on the pulses that are coming off the tower I'm across the street as you can see I wouldn't even want to guess what the radiation exposure is inside of those stores there and I have the meter set on average, which you can see here it says RMS, which means microwatts per square meter average power density. This is 800, 900 microwatts per square meter. It goes even higher. Once again, biological effects start at 3.4 to 6 microwatts per square meter average power density. To broadcast the entire Earth, it takes two kilowatts, two hair dryers. Now a microwave oven uses a thousand watts or one kilowatt. Here's the damage one kilowatt can be done by somebody when they take a magnetron out of a microwave and turn it into a ray gun. This is just a small example of a low-tech weapon running on 1,000 watts. Then you have these things here, these huge towers of death. Now each row in this tower, an array, 
or a set of dishes or rectennas or whatever you want to call them is connected to a cable with a maximum power output of 300,000 watts or 300 kilowatts. That's 300 microwave ovens. We base that conservative estimate based on the gauge of the cabling that's running up to one of these arrays. They're estimated at 300,000 watts per cable. These cell phone towers are weaponized. There's no other reason to have this much power running up the cables. The point is here, ladies and gentlemen, is that these companies like Lucent and Google could turn up the juice at any time and nuke a town. They could nuke the entire country without any warning, without anybody being able to protect themselves. They could cook them like a boiling frog in the middle of the night. This infrastructure is not only in place, it's built up with multiple levels of redundancy. Every big city has thousands of these death towers. And all that needs to happen is for an AI from Google or whoever to come in and nuke everybody at once and take over. Who out there remembers that movie Terminator? Well, Google doesn't have to send a Terminator to every door or launch a nuclear strike. It can just turn on these cell phone towers to maximum and cook everybody within the city limits within an hour. And then just send in the Terminators to mop up the countryside. And then just send in the Terminators to mop up the countryside. And then, and then just, just send, send in, in the Terminators, Terminators to mop up, up the, the countryside. countryside. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And for instant access to patron-only content, become a supporter of my Patreon page. The link is in the description below.